Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Siege video. The next clip is going to be the real Siege of the last Siege battle that we did to get into tournament. We truly just slipped in rank 20. We we're very lucky due to how our last Siege panned out. And also we we're lucky with how the matchmaking went with the other guilds. Because I'm pretty sure if the other battles had different outcomes, then we definitely would have had a different result. Now I'm making this initial part of the video because how the last siege went and how one guild is really really hurt about the outcome of the siege. Obviously I understand because this last siege could have made any of these three guilds get into tournament. Now that one guild is UOC. This UOC is a Vietnamese guild per our guildmate and from what they said in the siege chat we could confirm that they're Vietnamese. And then Pro-K is a Brazilian guild. Now UOC is actively accusing that we, uh, our guild Sky and Pro-K 2v1 them because they were the stronger guild. They believe that they were obligated to get first place probably because of it. And now that they're not getting tournament, they're really butthurt. And I understand because sadly right now, 2v1 is actually just part of the game. It naturally happens. Yes, there's two different types of 2v1s. One 2v1 that is just as an outcome naturally happens just because one of the guild is just so much stronger or just stronger as the other two guilds. What can they do? Unless one guild just goes like, okay, I'm going to go for second place and hit the weaker guild. Everybody's going to try and beat down the stronger guild so that they could compete first. first. So the outcome of it looks like it's a 2v1 naturally. And I understand that. And the other one, is that you actively discuss it with somebody that you know on the opponent guild and you're like hey let's 2v1 the other guild so that either one of us can get first place i know it happens it's just how the game is structured sadly if it's going to be a 1v1v1 i think that's not going to change and because i know that even if we get 2v1 as someone that know that that could happen it will happen i try to stay quiet even in our guild but in our guild, there are people at the same time that still get butt hurt and start talking shit on Siege chat, which is very bad. I think it's very bad. I don't like it. So in guild chat, I honestly try to tell them to stop talking crap in Siege chat. 2v1 can happen. It always happens. It's just how the game is structured. And that's all I could do. I mean, these are all adults. These are all adults playing the game, right? Let's not deny the fact that this is an old game. Most of the people are adults, over 20 that's playing this game. So I don't have the right, nor will I try to tell these people to do things. But the only thing that I could say is, come on, let's give respect. It's just a game and it's just something that could naturally happen. Last Siege, that's not what happened because you will see actively is still attacking me. They're still commenting on my videos saying that um, our guild to be one and somehow like it's like my fault or something. Uh, but let's go look at the info because that's really important, right? Because if you actively to be one, you know, let's say we colluded with Pro K and we actively to be one, you will see. We'll know through the attack distribution, right? So we attacked 229 times. We attacked Pro K 111 times and you will see 118 times. That looks like an evenly distributed attack. I think that already just gives it. Yes, Pro K did attack. You'll see more. 150 to us, 86. But is that our fault? Uh, in the middle of the siege, Pro K, I think the second half, Pro K, one of their macro or somebody in their guild, uh, spoke up and said that this was their strategy and this is how they're going to try to win. And it made sense that they are trying to win because, like I said, every one of these guilds had a chance for tournament. Sky was ranked 39, Pro K was ranked 37, and you'll see was ranked 16. This is a Brazilian guild, and although Sky is Korean, we're no longer a Korean guild. I think we have like only four Koreans that are actively playing in the guild, and everybody else is in a different race because we tried for a tournament. Knowing that there was no one that we knew, well, at least from what I know, I don't know anybody in Pro-K, and from what we saw in guild chat, nobody knew Pro-K. I know we didn't actively discuss a 2v1, is it our fault that Pro-K attacked UOC? Is it, again, our fault if we took advantage of Pro-K attacking UOC? Obviously not. If you are a guild lead or if you're the macro of each of these guilds, 
you are looking for advantageous scenarios so that your guild will come on top. The outcome for UOC might look like a 2v1, and I feel sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, they felt like they were supposed to be the tournament guild, but that's not how this game works. If, if you say that, you know, Synthesis, or what's the other guild? There's another guild that didn't make it, right? Synthesis and another very high guild that didn't make it. Those guilds should definitely have made it, right? So you should really complain to come to us on how the siege is structured. If the siege is structured this way, one guild, the stronger guild in most cases, is inevitable to feel like they're getting to beat one. Because the outcome might look like it is, but again, it's just how each of the other guilds map grow is trying to win for their guild. In the beginning or middle of Siege, it probably happened less because sometimes guild will just be happy with second place. So if there is a stronger guild, they will attack the weaker guild just to get second place. And that does happen. But in most cases, as you get closer to the tournament, the guilds are going to try to get first place, especially the last game. If all the guilds are capable of getting tournament by getting first this is the one game where they'll probably not team up to attack the other guild because everybody wants to get first place well that last statement it's kind of false because i guess at the end both guilds could just try to hammer down one guild and fight each other to for first then the third guild really gets to decide who gets the first that's weird i don't know how that would work it could look like that situation for uoc they might think that Sky and Pro K actively hit UOC and then UOC decided that they'll just hit Pro K and then we got first. It could look like that, yeah. I see that could be an argument. To be fair, what else can we say? What else can we say? Because the only thing I can show you is the attack distribution and we attacked pretty evenly. Yeah, the map at the end of the state, you can see we're just going out full on on both sides of the guild. Again, I just think that we took an advantageous scenario where Pro K was hitting into UOC. And I guess UOC decided to retaliate to Pro K. And we were we just took advantage of it. And as a macro, I want to tell our macro that he did well. He believed that there was a chance for us to get first, there was a chance for us to get tournament, and it was something that they had to do. If you want to have a super fair game, it will always be the guild with the highest win rate that gets first. But we all know that doesn't happen. And if you want that to happen, then argue to come to us to change the format of Siege to 1v1. And that's the only way that will fix this problem. And as a person, I can't feel good getting all this hate for something that we didn't do. It's something that I didn't do. And again, let's say I felt guilty in any way because it looks like we're to be wanting or it feels like, you know, UOC should get first. It makes no sense for me to force my guildmates to be like, hey guys, let's play fairly now and attack Pro K because it looks like we're to be wanting. Because again, this is now a guild that's striving for tournament. What am I to tell them to do certain things? And the reason is so stupid because I look bad. If I really, really get stressed about this, the only thing I could do is, is just give up on tournament guilds. Just don't try for a tournament. Just leave leave these G3 guilds. Unless I go into like a top 4 guild, which which I doubt with my win rate. And I'm pretty sure the stress level there is really high. So that's another issue. But unless I'm in a guild that's stomping other guilds, whether or not they're to be wanting, the only thing I could do, if I don't want to get this hate, I guess, is to not do tournament guild stuff. Yeah, just go back to like a G1, G2 guild where this is not really an issue. But for G3 guilds, I, I can see why that they're stressed. Especially if they lose to our guild, the only one that they could go out on is me because I am out there publicly, right? I don't hate it too much. I'm getting more comments and stuff. <laughs> so it's not too bad, but definitely as a person, I can't say I enjoy it. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out. I felt sorry for UOC, but I also think that UOC made very stupid moves. And especially the people that talked in chat. I mean, they're calling our race. They're calling because, I mean, they believe we are the Korean, we are a Korean guild. So due to the Korean name. So they're call calling out Koreans as a, you know, as a whole bad names. I think that makes them look bad. It also makes the guild look bad. Yeah, I felt sorry, but at the end, I didn't feel sorry. For somebody that was stronger, I know you feel like you're entitled for first, but due to things how it played out, you didn't get first. But if you start calling people names, if you start talking shit, 
to other guilds, that all goes away. The only thing that I could do in that kind of situation is just stay quiet. I don't want to instigate flame. I don't want to receive the flame. That's why even when UOC started talking crap, we didn't say anything during chat most of the time until some of them got really mad. But yeah, it wasn't a fun experience. I actually didn't think that we would be going into tournament and get into the, this kind of situation because if you saw my last video, my last siege video, I thought from that getting third place, getting to rank 39, uh, it meant that we were out, but we were in a very weird rank where we still had to try. Seeing that glimpse of hope, everybody was happy, but at the same time, there was something that I had to care about because I started getting some hate due to it. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the current situation of uh, Siege. You know, I know that there has been some post on Reddit regarding 2v1 and obviously how people weren't happy about it. There could be no rule to prove that the other two guild formed an alliance to attack one guild explicitly. But I'm pretty sure naturally, if all the guilds are trying for first and we know that one guild is stronger, it will eventually look like a 2v1. Unless one of the other guilds decide to just get second place, which no one is going to do when Siege Tournament is on the line. Anyways, just wanted to put that out. Again, I hope UOC thinks about this. I tried to answer one of the comments and I didn't answer more because it was just, you know, talking to a wall. I guess they're really, really disappointed on the outcome, but still it never makes it right. It never makes them look good if they talk that much shit. And you could tell that I was, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with the allegations I'm getting because I usually don't curse at all in the video or rarely outside. It's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault. It's just how the game is structured. It's just how that content is structured. Complain, complain to come to us. Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Siege video. The last Siege of the season, I felt the need of making this video. We are rank 39, so even if we get first place in this Siege, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be in tournament, probably like rank 28, 26, I don't know, somewhere around that rank. So sadly, we have failed again, um, but it was fun. I think we could do better. Uh, anyhow, I have to w go into this because we do want to take this and I am going to be using uh, this team right here because we have a better lead. I just hope that it is not as fast as I hope it is. And then Galleon should be good. I think the only thing is this Julie is the wrong Julie. Julie right here. Yup. Okay. Hope we don't get cut because that's also a very big issue. We got caught last time. Can we get more speed somewhere? Hmm. We can actually. I think we could get one more speed on this guy. No, we can't. I lied. Okay, one more speed on this guy. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of a waste here, but we'll try it. Because we have that plus six there too. Come on! Yes, we got it. Uh, can we get more attack too? Oh, that's actually really good. Nine. Ah, oh, come on. Nine. 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 Eight. Okay, nine. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, let's try that. And yes, I know we're missing one crate. Hope we outspeed. We do. We do outspeed. And they were really slow actually, so we should be good. But then that, it's okay, we should kill two units. Okay, we're good, we're good. He's on, oh my goodness, he's on crit rate probably. It's okay. My Bernard's also on crit rate. See that? Got the first easy win. Okay, it looks like we want to hit this too. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Oh, never mind. We have two reserves. So we don't have to hit those. Uh, let's just see how things go. And we'll be back. Let's hope to get... All wins today, if possible. Come on, end it with the blast, right? 3007. I mean, it looks like UOC. I heard this is a Vietnamese guild, I believe. Uh, they have a very good win rate. So uh, they're most likely taking first, I think, unless they don't have good macro. But we don't have a good macro either. So pretty sure the better win rate is the winner. Um, Pro K has a pretty low win rate. Ours isn't too great, but our defense is really, really bad. So we'll see how things go. Okay, looks like we are back and we want to tag this. Look at that. They're coming in real quick on it. Oh man, what are these? What are these, man? Okay, I'm gonna go into this one. Wish me luck! <laughs> they wanted it quick. We pushed this guy back. Stun here, freak. That guy is squishy though. Okay. 
They have no damage though, to follow that up. Okay, so that's not a glancing. If that was a glancing, I'd have been worried. But it's not a glancing, so we're good. And I believe Zeus doesn't do anything much after that. Yeah, that's not much. That's not much at all. So I think we're good to go. Yep, so Zen's dead. That's fine, we just heal ourselves up. Okay, he's... Uh, yeah, that's a crappy unit, isn't it? I don't know why that feels like a crappy unit. <laughs> oh, he didn't... I mean, he landed a defense break. But yeah, he totally just feels like a supportive unit, huh? I'm just... Kill this guy first. Was that stupid? Okay, I'm gonna stun the Zeus. Nice. Oh, 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 look at that. He's changing targets. He's changing targets. Oh, Weapon Master? Is that a dark one? Oh. Using a water Weapon Master. What? Dude, he has to be on the damage build and he's... He didn't do too much damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so those are quick early hits. I guess we just have to wait for this to open up. To maybe get another hit in and we'll see how things go from there but i think uh it's going pretty well we still have a decent amount of attacks i mean uoc has a decently high win rate even better defense rate um but it looks like we are not too far away from them pro k taking a lot of stuff right now so they're in a good spot maybe it's better for us to hit them hit them back i'm not sure we'll see we'll see Okay, this is opening up, and we want to take it before this opens up. So we got to take it quickly. Looking at the win rate, it looks good. It went up by 1% than before. Uh, actually, the UOC went down by 1%, so the gap is closing, so that's good. And they use significantly more attacks, so they're actually still way ahead on that part. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing, but there's a lot of 10 tens you see. There's more for those 10 tens to come. We'll see. That opened up. Let's go. Hmm. Wow, with Kinky. That's interesting. Now, I'm going to reserve this. So we take that. I want to fire you now, actually. This monkey does well, and then we'll probably take in a Riley or something like that. Or, Kuni's good too. Yeah, Rukuni's good. Because then everybody will go for the Camila, essentially. Uh, Taking a uh, fire. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's try this. I think it'll work, okay? I am worried about the defense break coming in with this, though. Oof. Oof. That was good. Let's kill this guy. Freeze him. Ooh, we're fast. We're a Bakuni. You're dead. And we are good to go now. Think that's a win? That should be a win, right? That should be a win. Defense break? Never mind. Can you hit my Rukuni? I don't like you hitting my Fire Monkey. Kind of scared. <laughs> but Rukuni was the right choice. Okay, stun. Pretty sure this guy's not on 100 res. You rarely see 100 res on um, Pyong Charge on defense. Boom. Oh, maybe this one is. We'll see. Stun? No. Could be on 100 res, really. It's destroying well. Oh, there's the defense break. And then we give it to him again. Boom. Slap. Nice crit. He should be gone. Awesome. Nice. Good job. Good job. We'll come back when other towers open up. Because right now... Oh, they want to stick this? Can I reserve it? Okay. Hey, guys. Is it okay if I put it to the test? Is it okay if I put it to... I really wish this was more tankier, though. And then we're gonna bring in Tetra. <laughs> guys, did you guys watch the video? Now, the only thing scared is of the defense break. Uh, so, yeah. Luck is part of it. But this is the same Feneca that we used. Uh, different Isolan that we just changed. And then we have the Tetra. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually using this in the battle. Oh, freak. That's a lot of damage, though. Uh-oh. Wait. 
Okay, that's good. Can I move? Hey, what? Your stun is a little too much, freak. Hmm. This is very bad. Can I get a prop? He, so he's on despair. I need to get despair stuns. Oh my god. Am I gonna move? I, can I get a prop? I'm not. Can Finnegan move? Freak. He's dead though, huh? Oh my god, he's dead. No. <laughs> oh man, this one didn't work. <laughs> oh man. Crap. It looked like he was on Swift, so. Okay, let's take in Jotan. Because we know that he had high crit rates. And then let's take in Shaman. feel like it's a little slow, though. And then we take in this guy. Okay. That's all good. It's okay. This guy is moving. So good thing we could cleanse all of that. Um, I really want to kill this girl first. Don't stun. Nice resist. Nice. Oh, we can't kill her though. Oh, yes we can. That's why you get violent. Get out of here. Um, we don't need to use anything yet. That's fine. They don't have much damage anymore. Siri is the real damage dealer. Ooh, dude, never mind. It looks like the Escher is the real damage dealer. It's okay, nice. Defense break? Okay, it's GG. I think we have, oh, we don't have skill too though. Boom, take that. Nice heal block. Let's get a stun here, never mind. Okay, we're gonna just skill two kill. Do what? Oh, the, because is, is it because of the branding? Because of the branding, he's going for my shaman. Okay, okay, stop wasting time. It's like a crit damage. I sure it looks like. Oh, how did we miss that? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna reserve this. We could just do this, I think. And we'll be okay. We killed this guy first, Brita. Kind of a weird team. It could be a waste as well. For taking in Giselle. Oh, actually, if I take in Alaya, then I'm giving Pyeongchul something else to hit. Oh, actually, Pyeong even Brita is going for Camila, so that's good. We could cleanse that silence. Now we have unlimited will. Well, actually not unlimited, because Pyeongchul could strip. Okay, we're going to go for that Brita first, okay? Nice. Okay. Just put a will. Nice. Ooh, he didn't cleanse. I thought he will go for that cleanse for sure. Okay, put a defense buff again with will. Oh, that was stupid by me. I did not use my will. Oh, that maybe that was smart. Okay. He didn't get to steal anything. Defense break? Nope. Whoa, how did he land that defense break? When I have 100 res. Probably high accuracy, obviously. Come on, let's land this. Good thing that Kumar's not proccing. Right when, hey, right when I say he's not proccing. Come on. Oh, we put that freaking defense break for a reason, guys. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, what the heck is with this team? They all proccing. Man. He's going to cleanse that. So I'm going to go defense break here. We didn't get the defense break. What the freak. 
Are you kidding me? They all proc'd like twice in a row. Proc? Not you! Kill. Thank you. Freak, man. I mean, if it's, a, if, if it's a prolonged fight, actually, I was kind of asking for this because you're looking for procs and procs and procs, really. Uh, whoever procs more should win in a bruiser fight, so... I can't be complaining too much. I asked for this. If I didn't want to go through this, I should have brought in some kind of cleave that could go through it, really. Okay, he didn't proc out there, though. So we still win this, but it was a pretty close fight. Nice. Okay, another proc. A good thing we have Giselle. If we didn't have Giselle right now, then I don't think our Camila would have done it. Uh, maybe this invincibly is bad because he could steal it. Unless I get another freeze. Oh, we do. Okay. Oh, of course. Of course. It doesn't matter. Still procs out of it. Okay. Freeze again. So he's not on 100, 100 resistance. Accuracy is very low too. Because he's not stealing my buffs. My Giselle's not on 100 res, so... If he had decent accuracy, he should be stealing buffs. Proc? <laughs> Dude, see, like I said. The proc rate is kind of insane right now. He just proc like 4 or 5 turns in a row. Which shouldn't be happening. It's not 20%! Calm to us, give us the rates. Stop lying with rates. Okay, I got save skill 2. We didn't crit there. Crit? Okay. We did take that though. Oh, if Bloom wins. Bloom wins. We're in a good spot. These hold. Oh, she lost. Okay, I'm going to reserve it. I'm going to... Oh, I used my Aliyah though. Which I didn't really want to do. Just noticed. And see how things go. We do have decent sustain. It's not like really slow sustain. We have some sustain. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine though. Shoot, he landed that defense break like nothing. Gotta freeze here. Okay. Ooh. Dude, that hurts. Hey! What the freak? We almost lost turn one. Oh, freak. Wait, who do we kill? Dude, what? Are you on 100 res? We were very lucky with the procs there, though. Okay, good thing you're going for Camila. Stun. You got the stun. Okay. How do you have that again? Kill. Okay, we killed there. Let's get the stun. Okay, she's dead. Oh, wait, she's not. She, oh, she almost died. She almost died. We missed a crit again. Okay, let's do this now. Just keep stunning. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, freak. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, we don't have it. Because it's the non-skilled of Camila. Sad. This guy's proccing too many times. It's okay, we kill here. And we should be good to go. Uh, but we got tagged. It's because Bloom lost! It's okay. We got the win though. This we got the win. Okay, I'm gonna be ending the video here. I don't think we'll be able to use our last attack today. It's getting late. I don't know if I'll continue this tomorrow. If I do, you guys won't see this ending. But for now, we'll be going out. Um, currently with the 8-1, our three defense wins. It looks like some defenses are losing as the battle is going on. So uh, we are catching up, I guess, on the defense rate. Anyhow, uh, that was it for this uh, battle. I don't think, even if you get first, we're going in 20. We're way too far away. Pro K has a slightly higher chance. UOC definitely, if they get first place, 
uh, they'll be within 20 in tournament. Um, wonder why Pro K started to go into UOC because if if they contested first, they might have had a chance, at least a higher chance than us, because they're rank 37, I believe. Maybe just because UOC had a higher higher win rate. I don't know.